Yes, 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 yes. Come on, people, let's go. This is how we do it. We're talking about this one. Talk of the kind that's on only on this station. I'm telling you, One Eyes TV. We are coming up with so many content. We're talking about the round leather game and any other spot. So get ready on this one. We call it Talk of the Titan. I'm not always here alone. I can never be here with the storyteller man himself. Of course, let me tell you something. Smart you like on the beat. Subscribe to the channel. What are you waiting for? What are you doing? I tell you on this station. When it rains, it pours. If possible, let me put on this man. Matt, are you ready for me? Tell us the story. And welcome to the show, bro. How are you doing? This is the show we call The Talk of the Titans. The first episode. Thank, You're welcome. Thank you very much. Today we'll be talking about one man who was a great footballer. He was yeah. elegant on the ball. He had much less vision on the field. He had iconic passes he, and he had an exceptional free kick taking ability. His name is Andres Bello. Yeah, thank you. Andres Pello was born in Flero, Brescia, Italy on May 19, 1979. He started his playing career at the local youth team at the age of 13 as a forward. Three years later, he made his senior debut with Brescia, and from that point forward, he never looked back. His performances caught the eye of Inter Milan, who signed him in the summer of 1998. He was loaned to Regina, but returned after one season. He struggled to break into the first team, so he returned to Brescia on loan, where he played with the legendary Roberto Baggio. Italian soccer fans will never forget his long pass that gave Baggio the winner against Juventus in 2001. Perlo was sold to city rivals AC Milan that summer, and it was with the Rossoneri that he made his name. He became a key part of the Milan midfield. He was called metronome in his time at Milan. He made almost 300 appearances for them, winning both the Serie A and the UEFA Champions League twice, the UEFA Super Cup, and the FIFA Club World Cup. He also won the World Cup with the Italian national team in 2006 in a memorable final match against France. FIFA named him the man of the match. After 10 years with Milan, Perlo moved to league rivals Juventus, where he continued his stellar performance. He won four back-to-back -back Serie A titles with the old lady, but not the Champions League. After four seasons, he moved to the MLS, where he ended his playing career with New York City FC after three seasons. Perlo moved into coaching afterwards, and he has managed his, in Italy and Turkey. Presently, he is the coach of Serie B club Sampdoria. Perlo was married for 12 years, but is separated. He has two children from the marriage. However, he has a partner who bore him twin boys in 2017. Besides management, he has a stake in his father's steel company, and he also runs his own wine company. A memorable quote of Perlo is, I don't feel pressure. I don't give a toss about it. I spent the afternoon of Sunday, 9 July 2006 in Berlin, sleeping and playing the PlayStation. In the evening, I went out and won the World Cup. All right, this is beautiful. Mark, thank you so much on that one question segment whereby you're going to answer the question we're going to put up on this show. All right, the question goes this way. Please smash your like on the video. The question, you understand the chance of winning. I'm talking about 10,000 Naira in Naira, please. All right, and send your entry. If you get the answer, send your entry to that information. That's info at oneistv.com. Straight up, if you know the answer, just drop. Within 24 hours, when you put this video out, send your entries i'm talking about the answer to this question to info at one iscv all right the question is this which footballer played two top level matches in two in two different countries on the same day tell us the date and the matches you know what i mean tell us the date and the matches get your entries ring rolling in and let's do this mark i want to say a big thank you to you uh on this one talking about this great man i'm talking right. about andres pelo 
Thank you very much. And next time we'll bring you another edition where we talk about yet another great Titan. Until then, it's goodbye. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is how far we can go tonight. I want to say big thank you to everybody that's helped us on this information. On the same time, bye for now. Be safe out there.